TJERealEstate.com. Step two of this series, we're gonna talk a little bit about marketing. Gonna keep it quick, gonna keep it short and sweet because when it comes to marketing, we could talk all night long. After we submitted the information to the lender, we immediately start to market the property. Now we do everything that we do with a conventional transaction, except we do it more aggressively and we do it a little bit bigger. Usually with a short sale, it's, we're up against a time frame. Maybe you've missed some payments. Maybe you've missed six months payments or a year's payment and you have that share of sale notice that's pending. So we have to act quickly and we have to be aggressive. So we price it aggressively. We price it aggressively to get an offer as quickly as we possibly can. Okay, in addition to that, we door knock your neighborhood to let people know that the property's on the market. Uh, we're gonna put on the MLS and do it all those conventional things. We're gonna do a social media blast that means Facebook, that means Twitter, that means YouTube, that means all of our blog sites. At Keller Williams, we put your property on over 300 home-based sales websites. Um, in addition to that, we're gonna do an open house, we're gonna do investors open houses. Investors are very interested in short sales and finding a bargain, finding something that's priced a little bit below market value uh, for a quick cash purchase, depending on the condition of your house. Okay, so we do all those things, we do them consistently, and at the end goal of all this is to find a committed buyer to give the most aggressive um, uh, offer possible. Okay, that's the goal of all this marketing. That's the goal of everything that we're doing here. The buyer has to be 100% committed and be willing to ride the wave for at least 90 days in order to get to settlement. So that's a little bit about how we're going to market your property when it's a short sale. CJERealEstate.com. Stay tuned for step three.